Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Miguel back again with another video and thank you so much for tuning back to the Tech Flash channel. So we are officially almost or not officially about a month away from Apple's September event and I thought we'd do a quick roundup of what we can expect mostly focusing on the iPhones. So we are going to have four new phones this time, two iPhone 14s and two iPhone 14 Pros, starting with the regular iPhone. Uh, the iPhone 14 can probably be described as more of an iPhone 13 as because it's not expected to get a whole lot of changes. We are expecting the same design and the same A series chips, which means that the regular iPhone 13 is not going to be having a chip upgrade. So we are going to be seeing the same A15 chip that's currently on the iPhone 13s. But we are going to have camera improvements and we are also getting rid of the 5.4 inch iphone mini instead of that we are going to be replacing it with a larger 6.7 inch iphone 14 max design wise we are not getting a lot of changes we are going to have the same notch on the front with face id there is no promotion display either although we are getting a new purple color which will be joining black white red and blue we are getting a little bit of an improvement on the ultra wide camera and we are also getting six gigs of ram the price most likely is going to be starting at about $799, which is, I think, the same price that we have for the regular iPhone 13. Now, when it comes to the iPhone 14 Pro, that's the one that's going to be the $1,000 phone or even more than that. There are rumors that it's going to be starting at a more expensive price, even more than the iPhone 13 Pro, most likely because we are going to be seeing an increase in the storage. Design wise, we are going to have again the same general flat edge design with two models as well, a regular 6.1 inch and a 6.7 inch option. We are going to have ProMotion display technology, but this time with one hertz up to 120 hertz upgrade that enables always on display technology. When it comes to the notch, Apple is kind of replacing it with a pill shape and a hole punch design cutout for camera and face ID hardware. We are getting a larger camera on the back, significantly larger camera this time. So we are getting a 48 megapixel wide lens with the 21% larger sensor that supports high resolution images and 8K video recording. That's way more than the current iPhone 13 Pro, which only has 12 megapixels. We are also going to be getting the faster A16 chip. So we are getting a better chip on the Pro models. When it comes to color, we have graphite gold silver and a purple color option which is going to be replacing the sierra blue for the iphone 13 pro we're also going to be discussing the apple watch and i'm going to skip past the apple watch the regular series 8 because according to rumors there are not really a lot of changes to it but we're going to go to the apple watch pro model the apple watch series 8 pro model according to rumors is going to have an evolution of the current rectangular shape whatever that's supposed to mean it's not going to have a flat display but is not going to have a round display either which is kind of confusing but i guess we'll find out once it's here we are going to be getting a more rugged and more durable build for extreme athletes there's a possibility that the case will be made of titanium and we are going to be getting a more shatter resistance display we are getting a two inch diagonal display which is seven percent larger than the current uh apple watch series 7 the largest uh, size of it there's a seven percent increase in that which is going to be diagonally almost two inches the size also indicates that we are going to be getting a larger battery with a longer battery life which could most likely even give you a couple of days and the best news about this that it's going to most likely cost you more than an iphone 14 regular which is going to be upwards of 900 dollars, nearly maybe even a thousand dollars according to rumors now we also have airpods pro 2 we're not really entirely sure whether we are going to be seeing those with the iphone event in september but it is rumored so there's a possibility that we may be actually seeing it now we are going to get a same general design according to rumors as the current airpods pro with a silicone ear tip and a stem it is going to have an improved find my integration and the charging case is actually going to have a speaker this time which will allow you to actually find it now the current uh, airpods pro have a feature where you can find the buds individually if they do get lost but the case actually does not have that feature so this time if the airpods pro 2 are announced there's a possibility that we may see a speaker or a detection where a noise can be played to actually find your case 
there's going to be an updated H1 chip with a self-adapted noise cancellation capability and AirPods 3 acoustics for improved sound. Now, we don't have a word yet from Apple when we will actually be seeing this September event, but given that the events almost always happen within the first two or three weeks of the month, we can make some educated guests. September 5 is Labor Day, so that's out, and most likely it's going to be the next Tuesday after that. So um, according to the dates that we have here, there's a possibility that it may be somewhere around um, September 7th, September 13th, or September 14th. So the first or second week is when we can actually expect the iphone and the apple watch to be announced so anyways guys uh, as i mentioned just a quick roundup of what we can expect so far from the apple event let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys would like to see in the event and uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out